Hey, Wrangler 4xE fans, I'm out here in my garage and I'm next to my uh, Wrangler 4xE and I'm next to my charger, my EVSE. And if you don't know, that's electric vehicle service equipment. We refer to those as chargers, but that's not really what they are. The charger's in the vehicle. But the uh, EVSE is what provides all that. But that's not the point of this video. It's not what we're getting at. I'm out here in the garage next to my breaker panel, next to my charger, next to my Wrangler 4xE. One of the things that I like to know is like, how much does something cost? How much is it running me? I'm, I'm a little bit of an energy geek. I kind of, you know, I do the LEDs and the lights and, and I try to like conserve energy whenever possible. And that's one of the things that really led me to the Wrangler 4xE is that electric is so much more efficient than gas. And, uh, and it's cleaner too, you know, it's about a nickel a mile on this thing. If I'm driving in all electric mode in about 13 cents a mile, if gas is $3 a gallon, of course it goes up from there. So electricity where I am is cheap, but one thing I wanted to know is how much is this thing costing me? You know, it gives me miles to the gallon, but as we know, that's a little bit of a dirty number in the regular 4xE because it's only tracking gas use and over and it's but it's tracking all the miles so like right now i think i have like 650 electric miles and 180 uh, hybrid miles on my odometer and so it you know it really messes up the numbers it shows you things like 43 miles a gallon we know that's not a real good number because it's not calculating the cost of the electricity that this thing is using so i like to know what am I using? Now you could do that if you get like a charge point charger as opposed to the Clipper Creek that I have. I just, I don't know, my, my very first EVSE when I had a smart electric drive was a Clipper Creek. I just like the company. I like their customer service. I had like, I've only called them like twice in my life and both times was like an enjoyable conversation. So I'm just kind of a committed Clipper Creek guy. But the thing about the Clipper Creek, it is just a down and dirty, gives you what you need it, it provides charge for the vehicle but i don't have any kind of way of measuring the energy that it's using and that's something that kind of bugs me and so i was seriously thinking about replacing this with a charge point just so i could have that data but then i discovered emporia and if you're not familiar with emporia it is a device that you put on your breaker panel now i don't know if you can see all this but i have these little devices clamped onto certain feeds that are coming out of the breaker. And if you're not comfortable working around power like this, this may not be a project for you. You may want to involve an electrician, but I went in and did this myself. I'm, I'm not an electrician, but I have a background in electronics and some electrical engineering. And so you, you know, you put all these little clamp on meters and if you aren't familiar with um, amps, you can measure amps uh, inductively this way you know you put a little device around it it doesn't it doesn't clamp into the cable in any way shape or form it just measures the electron flow and everything so this little device is connected to our local wi-fi network and there's an app that uses this thing and you can track how much power you're using it you can put in the data as far as like how much the electricity costs in your area and it'll track it based on that Right now, I'm running not quite $50 a month for the electricity that I'm putting in this thing. And, uh, you know, it's pretty substantial when you figure the cost savings over the lifetime of the vehicle is pretty substantial. So I like seeing that kind of data. But if I would have done the charge point instead of my Clipper Creek, then all I would have been able to measure is the Jeep itself. With the Emporia, I can measure... The entire house you know i've got all the i've got these two main ones that measure the entire house itself but then it breaks it down to like i've got one on my sub panel that goes to my basement and you know other circuits there are a few i had to leave out because it just doesn't have enough inputs on the emporia but it's only minor circuits that don't really do a lot like the microwave in our refri in our kitchen you know just, just that kind of stuff that i don't really care to measure so i wanted to share that if you're interested in that kind of stuff I put the uh, link down in the comments down below and uh, you can check that out for yourself. Thanks for watching. Take care.